The spotlight has been on Covington Catholic High School all weekend. There have been death threats and calls for expulsions after a video showed students from the school appearing to taunt a Native American in the nation's capital. But we've learned over the last day that there was more to the story and the short clip didn't show everything that happened. And Jeanette Levy is here with a breakdown of the video that had the entire internet in a fury. Rob, a police car, as you can see, was parked at Covington Catholic High School today and officers will be there tomorrow morning. Threats against the students are being investigated tonight and some have called the students racists. A nearly two hour long video has surfaced that shows what led up to that viral clip. That's the beginning of the now viral video. Three minutes in, words are exchanged between members of the Black Hebrew Israelites and Native Americans at the Indigenous People's Rally. Indian means savage, brother. I don't know where you got that from. Look it up, brother. I did look it up. I'm a historian. A woman who tried to speak with the Black Israelites wasn't spared. This is the problem, Israel. There's always our women coming up with a loud mouth. Eleven minutes in, Covington Catholic students in D.C. for the March for Life come into view. Tell them come over here in the lion's den instead of mocking over there. You little dirty ass crackers, your day coming. The students walked away. Then 20 minutes later, the CovCath students reappear. That's make America great again. A bunch of child molesting That's right. Just like your damn Donald Trump. At one hour, nine minutes, the Covington Catholic students start jumping up and down. The students have said it was a chant from school sporting events. Three minutes later, Native American elder Nathan Phillips enters the video. He's beating on a drum and the students chant. The portion of the video that shows junior Nick Sandman appearing to smirk and stare down Phillips went viral. Some have called the students and parents racist. School administrators even say they were looking at potential punishments, including expulsion. In a statement, Sandman wrote about Phillips in part, I did not see anyone try to block his path. He locked eyes with me and approached me, coming within inches of my face. I believed but that by remaining motionless and calm, I was helping to defuse the situation. Nathan Phillips told CBS News he was trying to keep the situation from escalating between the students and the black Israelites. These students, they're starting to get this mob mentality. And what did you see that made you think that it was a mob mentality? Well, 100, over 100 individuals and all of them just hollering things out together. Some have questioned why the parents didn't intervene sooner. Video shows one of them doing that. Back it up! Hey, back it up! Three of the chaperones spoke exclusively to Local 12 News last night. I would have liked to have gotten the boys out of there faster, but it took a while to get enough attention to look at me and say, let's go. And then once I got them, got them moving to let's go, we left. Hindsight being 2020, we should have moved the boys out right away, but we didn't know this was going to happen, and we were there enjoying the monument as any other person would in D.C. A Native American group plans to protest in front of the Diocese of Covington tomorrow morning. A spokesperson for American Indian Movement Chapter of Indiana and Kentucky says the longer video does give more t context to actually what happened last Friday, but he said that does not absolve the students of their behavior toward Nathan Phillips. Rob. Very interesting. Thank you very much, Anjanette. We have posted the link to the entire one hour, 46 minute video. You can watch it by clicking local12.com.